Hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks and uh, wanted to do a second video here on Friday. Um, anyways, uh, surprisingly, this uh, shift has been one of the best Friday shifts I've ever been on because with this delivery that I'm doing now, it'll put me up close to $100. Um, but the thing is, I've been out since 8.30 in the morning, um, but I I never reach 100 bucks by almost noontime. It's like 11.15-ish, something like that, close to that. And uh, But this delivery that I'm on is going, um, going, it said 14 miles, but it was like two miles or three miles to the pickup, which is BJ's Wholesale Club. The interesting thing about this order is it's up front it was showing $27 and uh, for 14 miles and it's not even exactly lunchtime so there was no way I wasn't going to take this one you know because the the money to my, miles is is pretty cool like you know I'd like it to be better but there could be a hidden tip in this one too and the BJ's wholesale ones, they're hit or miss. Now, what's funny is earlier the video that you uh, that I put up about BJ's and that order, that crazy order with all the waters, this is exactly the opposite. This is a regular order with really light stuff. There was I, I had like three boxes that I was using, and basically all of the stuff fit in there. It was like, I don't know, 18 items, 20 items. Real easy order, just a, a longer ride, but um, it's decent, you know, and I'm hoping there's a higher tip in there. But what's weird, and I mentioned this in the last video, is that on the paper, because it always comes with a receipt, and if they don't give you a receipt, you should ask for one, folks, because on the receipt, it will show you, like, the, the estimated tip or whatever. I thought that, oh, that's the exact tip, but I've seen the item, the... Uh, the tips go higher than what it said um, in, you know, in the orders. So um, I, I probably figuring the seven dollars is the base pay because I looked at the sheet and it said a twenty dollar tip. Now it could be exactly on the money, but this is an order that I don't mind taking because I'm going into an uh, area where I could pick up some other orders. It's not going into the boonies, thank God, you know. And so. You know, just trying to let you guys know, you know, if you get these orders, always check the uh, the receipts. Take screenshots of them, too, just in case, you know, because you'll have proof of what was on there, you know. But in this case, that I know, well, I took a screenshot of the actual order that came in. And we really should be doing all screenshots at this point because you can't trust any of these companies because they're all stealing from us, right? Uh, and that will prove that, you know, because DoorDash, usually whatever it says on the on the thing, you usually get that. But people have been missing uh, money from orders, like even if it's a dollar or 50 cents or whatever. And all that adds up. If they do that to, you know, 20 million people times a dollar every day, that's 20 million dollars in their pocket, right? For doing nothing. They just take from what the customers um, give. That's like putting out a collection box and saying, hi, can I have a dollar from everyone that's walking down the street? Imagine if we could do that, how much money we'd have. <laughs> and uh, anyways, I just wanted to let you know about these uh, BJ Wholesale Club orders. The good thing is you don't have to shop for these items. These are all in-store shop items. Before, like even with Instacart, when you do Instacart, you have to go shop for the items and sometimes you aren't even going to make $27. You might make $10 on 18 items or whatever. And that that's why it's ridiculous. It's like the best ones to get are the ones that are already shopped and paid for. And you just come and deliver them. However, you have to beware of what is in the delivery. Because it could be all waters, heavy, heavy stuff. And you have to then make a decision. Because, see, this time going in, when I went in, I was assessing what was going into the, you know, the baskets because she was putting all this, all the stuff in because they have those coolers and everything. And I was just watching it because I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any really super heavy items. 
because I may have backed out of it. But in this case, because the money was decent and it was, you know, not a whole lot of muscle to get everything into the car, I, I do that all day long, you know? Especially, well, you want to do it all day long, but barring the uh, traffic, depending on how, how bad traffic is in certain areas where you may live, you know? But anyways, that's all I have for you for this second video of the day. Uh, just wanted to say hello to everyone. Hope you're having a, a good day, good weekend. Um, I'm thinking possibly this could be maybe a 200, two, 250 day for me, which is very rare and unusual, even on a Friday in my market. But I'll have to see how things pan out by the end of the night because uh, I, I take a two two hour break from two to four and then I go back out and sometimes I change it up. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching the second video here on Friday and I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.